BDT means basketball decision training. What it is, it's based on a little bit of research stuff, which I won't get into too much. But essentially what we're trying to do is, if I just catch and shoot over and over again, we said already it's block practice, it's also called on air. On air means there's no defense present. When I practice with no defense, I'm not simulating the game. There's no defender. In every game situation I've ever coached in, there's a decision because there's a defender that I don't know what they're going to do on offense. And the same thing applies for a defender, right? You always have to make a decision on defense because you don't know what the offense is going to do. So basketball decision training tries to bridge, bridge the gap between doing something on air and doing it live. What would live be? One-on-one, -on -one, which I'll show you here in a second. So basketball decision training is giving them a bunch of cues. We already know, so I give him a cue. My cue simulates the decision. This is one of the shooting drills we would do in practice. I'll show you the other one quickly after this. But right now, hands up, hands down, he's just getting shots, either shoot it or pass it. I can add a third cue, which is I pass it, I run at him. When I run at him, I stimulate the decision to drive it. So he's going to drive it and score at the rim. And now we're working on finishing moves at the rim. Scoring moves at the rim. that and say, let's for a good example, no one foot layups. So he can do any type of finishing move but no one foot layup, which I can quickly show you some But every time he doesn't know what I'm going to make him do, and every time he has to think, heightened mental effort, before he makes the decision. Pers this is... This is a little bit technical, but I actually do would encourage you to think this way a little bit. Perception, decision, skill. So when I do something in the game of basketball, the first thing is I perceive something's happening, and then I decide what to do based on that perception, and then the third thing is I actually execute the skill. Often in basketball, we talk, we teach, skill, 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 but then they don't know when they're actually supposed to use it. So we try and connect it with this. So here's the thing. If the defender is more than arm length away, what do you think you should do? Shoot it, if he can shoot it. Now you're gonna coach a lot of kids that can't shoot it. That may be, that may be okay, you don't shoot it, you drive it. Like if it's, Prepubescent, probably I'm emphasizing the drive or the shot. But if I am arm length away, then you pass it right now because that's the only one. Arm length away is pass it. Right now, right now. I know you're absolutely right too. And then when we do step towards, then we're talking about attacking the close up. So he's going to drive. Get a drive. Now we can add different layers to it, which won't be too much, start three times between your legs, go, go, just keep going between your legs. So I do this. And now, B2, we're back to it. No, you don't have to go back between your legs, just, ready? First time pass, and I'll get back to the ants. Boom, hit, good, two, good. So we can start it with him dribbling. Remember, I already showed you that in and out cross cross series, right? They can start it with that, they can start it with the live dribble and just add this, and now play BDT out of it. We could also do it where we relocate which would be a little bit more game-like. Every time I pass, you pass me the ball, run in one direction until I pass it back to you. Then when I pass it back to you, what do you do? Fight for your feet. You don't have to go between your legs anymore. Dance, dance, pass, relocate, fight for your feet, pass, relocate, shoot. So now we made it a little bit more game-like, a little bit more dynamic. Again, in my opinion, that's, that's a dynamic warm-up. Is that really physically demanding that we, we're going in and we're playing five on five right away? No, like, that's warm up. Like, that's warm up. So mixed drills, three times between your legs, shoot, or some variation of all those different things. 
or BDT is like the first five, 10 minutes of our practice. Skills. Now what can you do as a coach as they're doing that? Is you're walking around and you're reminding them of your words. That's why your words are important. Fight for your feet. Fight for your feet. Okay, you're not fighting for your feet. Focus on your feet. Let's focus on Sign your shot. Focus on sign your shot every time. Most of your shooting will get better if you just focus on sign your shot. Too many of you try and be too cool. You try and score without acting like you're scoring. I never understood that mentality. You try and shoot like you're trying not to shoot. Why right, they do this? Act like it. That's a picture in the paper. Since none of you can dunk, that's a picture of the paper. Your fault. Huh? That's why you call it sign your shot. Hold that up there, be proud of it. Be proud of your fault. Huh? So you're walking around while they're doing that, being in practice, and you can focus on their skill development. Because you don't have a lot of time, you need to maximize that time to be able to get them player-led reps and coach coaching things that you can do.